Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am gonna share a Quirky Kits unboxing with you. So I subscribe to Quirky Kits by Crafty Templates. I get the main kit, but there's also the light kit, embellishment kit, and custom card kit. And this is a little booklet you get with it just to give you some ideas for layouts and also let you know what is included in your kit. If you saw my previous process video, I mentioned I was doing different challenges. So this was a little prize for doing all the challenges in the group. And it is a pen that will come in super handy for journaling on my layouts. So I also bought some extra bits when the subscribers extra shop opened. So I'll show you those bits at the end, but we're going to get stuck straight in with the main kit. So first up is the Simple Stories um, Hello Today sticker book that I'm going to show you in a second. Um, it's got 12 sheets and is absolutely full to the brim of different embellishments, washies, label boxes, tiny word stickers. This is going to be so good. Then we've got these custom cut apart label sheets as well as a Simple Stories washi tape roll. I think this is from the Hello Today collection and it's a pack of three but we each got one of the three. And then for the papers, there are a couple of custom sheets, which was the one I just showed. We also got some doilies. I love that tangerine orange colour. It's not something I usually use, but I'm really drawn to it. And then we also got some border embellishment strips that are custom made here. So they'll be really handy to put around the edges of layouts or around the photos. And there's quite a few different bits and bobs there. So back to the papers. I think this next one is one of the custom papers. Or is this from the... Yeah, so I think this is a custom paper. That's got these um, like kind of tealy turquoisey hearts that have got little flowers in the middle. So that would be great for either cutting and using them as embellishments or using the whole sheet. Next up is a cup file by Paige Evans and then jump back to the papers sorry I was a bit all over the place when I, when I should have sorted it out before but I literally just this is a straight unboxing so this sheet is from the simple stories quarantine collection and it's these different colored houses on a kind of wood grained paper and then just a checkerboardy doodly thing on the back I never know how to describe papers um this one is from Sweet Talk and it's the 3x4 cut apart sheet. I really love that little panda at the top. And the back of this I really like as well, it's little sprinkles. So I'm going to have to work out which of the cards to bin off so I can use the back. Then from the Sweet Talk collection is this floral paper. And on the back of that we've just, it's kind of like a polka dot but not a polka dot, if that makes sense. Hopefully you're getting a good view from just me showing it rather than my descriptions. I think this is another custom sheet and I love this wood grain with the floral reefs on the front. I'm definitely going to be getting the use out of that. And the back is a black gingham. And then the last of the custom papers is this sort of polka dot fountain pen sheet which I've never really seen a sheet like this before so I'm excited to use that and on the back of that is a kind of splodgy dot thing <laughs> and then there's also four sheets of just smooth white cardstock which always comes in handy because I actually prefer to use white cardstock as the base of my layouts rather than the pattern sheets but I might try and push myself to use a bit more of the pattern papers this month and then, like I said, I bought some bits from the subscribers extra shop. So I'm going to show you those now. So first up is the Doodlebug Sunshine Alphabet Stickers in Tangerine. I'm trying to get into Project Life a bit more, so I thought they would be perfect size. Then this Pinkfresh Studio Oh What Fun Snow Globe sheet. And last, oh no, I have another paper after. So this is Hello Today and it's the February Cut Apart sheet which I thought would be great for Project Life. And then lastly, this Simple Stories, Cozy Days. I absolutely love the colours used in this and I kind of wish I had more of that collection now. So might have to go and seek that out. And then next up is lots of um, the pocket card kits. So I bought some older ones from last year. I think this one is the Heart and Soul kit from May slash June. 
um, I've got some Project Life cards but they've all got rounded edges and I really wanted some square ones and these are $7.99 and you get loads so they're really going to come in handy. Um, they're dated 2020 but that's fine with me because I'm actually, I've decided to go back and document last year Project Life. Oh I really love that card. <laughs> because we are eating such random things for dinner but yeah like I was saying I'm going to go back and document last year project life as well as starting this year so this is the Jan Feb 2021 custom card kit so yeah I'm, I'm gonna kind of be working on both at the same time but that should be fine I've got half of last year's pictures printed already and I'm gonna try and get this year's done maybe every other month so that I can kind of keep on top of both and not get overwhelmed but I've started keeping a little journal that I can keep track of the pictures for each month and what I did so I can go back and know what goes where and yeah so I'm really looking forward to actually doing it I've wanted to do it for years and I've never just got around to it so I thought now is the best time to to do it and I think it will be nice to look back on last year as well even though it was weird um so these are just the lined journaling card sets and there's lots of different colors in the journaling spaces and then this was a grab bag so this was four pounds but you get a random assortment of cards from all different collections and I'm really happy with the ones that I got included because it's quite a lot of different ones to journal on but nothing is really too month specific so I'll be able to work them into whatever I mean that one says March but I'll be able to work the rest into all different project life layouts as well as actually using them on pages because you can cut around those um, squares and use them for embellishments as well so yeah I'll definitely get the use out of all of these and I feel like I've got enough cards now to to get me started with the project life so thank you so much for watching that was everything I got in this month's kit let me know what you thought in the comments below see you next time